Hey everyone, it's nice to see you today. Welcome to Coffee from my Public Library, it's Miss Alyssa. I get to be a model today for something so fun and exciting. I want to introduce you to Miss Emma Bonson and she is our horror makeup expert. So I can't wait for you to see what she's going to do to me today. <laughs> so I'm going to be showing you how to do triplophobia, which is the fear of holes. So what you'll need is about two or three tablespoons or teaspoons of flour, a spoon, a makeup brush or a little brush, liquid latex or Elmer's glue, Vaseline, something that with like a circular end, a pencil works fine, a little bowl, and some Q-tips. And so I'm gonna teach you how to make the scar wax first for this, which you'll need two teaspoons or three, de debatably. I'll start off with two, put that in. Then you're going to take some Vaseline, take about one teaspoon, like that, put it in. You can get your fingers in, it's going to be a little sticky. Mix it up, get it covered. After a while you can start putting your fingers in, it'll get a little, a little sticky. It should feel like clay. So it looks something like this. And if you wanted to, you can always add foundation. That could work well too. Get that color of your skin in there. Blend it up very good. Otherwise it'll look weird and clumpy. Alrighty. If you have something like that, I mix it up with my fingers. And if it gets too sticky, add a little bit more flour. And if it's too dry, add a little bit more of the Vaseline. So I'm gonna add a little bit more flour. Mine's a little too, a little too sticky, as you can see. So I'm gonna add a little bit more flour. Mix it up just like you did. So mold it into a ball, something like that. You can test it on your skin too. You should be able to mold it like clay. And if you can, then it's perfect. Something like that. And so what you'll do, you'll go to the model or yourself and you'll put a little bit of liquid latex so the thing can stick to it. And this is where I use the Q-tip. So I'm going to place it right here. You can place it anywhere, but preferably I like to place it right here. Just put a little bit. So you said Elmer's glue would work too? If... Yes. Okay. Don't use too much though. It's not, not too good for the skin, but, it, but it'll work well for your hand. It peels right off too, just like liquid latex. Then take a little bit of this. Just put it on there. Now, use Vaseline on your finger to spread it. It'll spread better and uh, leave the clumps out of it. And just rub the ends down until it looks seamless within the skin. I'm not taking too much Vaseline, just a little bit to cover the finger. You can make it as thick and as thin as you want. So it looks something like this. Something like that. Very cool. 
And now I will probably place another one right here on the tip of the finger, just to make, make it look complete with the hand. I'm gonna get more of the, the DIY scar wax that we made, roll it to a ball, and then I'll get the Q-tip. Get some liquid latex, not too much, you don't need too much. And put it on any finger of your choice. I like the middle finger here. A little bit more. Now get that ball of scar wax and just dig it like we did the last time. And if you always put too much up, you can just take the chunk off and just put it back in. And then just seamlessly spread it around. fingers are going to look really dirty after this. <laughs> I recommend using a dry finger for this, otherwise it'll stick to your hand. If you want, you can show your hand to the camera. This is what your hand should look like. Something like that. And you can always add more patches of the scar wax and the liquid latex. It just depends how much you want to do. But that's what I'm going to do to show you guys. And then next, I'm going to take a brush or make a brush. Um, either use translucent powder or flour. Just add some of it on there and put it onto the scar wax. This will make it less sticky when we work with it. You shouldn't need too much. And if you have a little extra, you can just tap it, blow it off. Don't wipe it, it'll probably smear um, the scar wax. So you could probably turn it over and shake it. Yeah. yeah. It's okay if you have some extra, that'll probably come off when we make the holes. So grab whatever has a circular end, probably an eraser to a pencil, that'll work fine. You can even use a Q-tip, that would be fine as well. And then you're just gonna take it and then just make little holes in it. So I like to go slow and maybe like turn a little bit so it doesn't get caught because it's pretty sticky. You can use a smaller circular tool as well, that works well. And if it breaks apart kind of like that, you can just use Vaseline, just fix it up, no biggie. I always like to wipe it off so it doesn't stick. I'm just gonna get my Vaseline and fix it up. I put more circles on the outside of it too, even if it's not with the clump, just so there's like a little indent of a circle that makes it look a little seamless in your skin. There's the finger, if you want to hold it up. That's what it looks like so far. You can mess with it, make it smaller, clean it up if you want. That's what I have so far. Cool. And then we'll do the lower side.
You can just place the circles anywhere around the hand. It does not matter. All right, no, something like that. You'll have holes, and you can make them smaller too and closer together. That's all, that also works. And that's just about it for that. You can leave it just like that, just like just the skin tone. That works too. Or you can put some blood in it, which would also <laughs> work. And if you want to make it even grosser or worse, you can add fake maggots in it and have it stick out of the uh, bloody hole. That that, that would, would be cool. that would be great. <laughs> but. That's it for this video. Thank you very much.